we're given a cube just with a, a, a constant a that we don't know what it is, and we're told that x minus 2 is a factor of f of x. How do we work out a? Well, by the factor theorem, and maybe this bit is not essential to write down, but I think it's good to write it down. By the factor theorem, x minus 2, a factor implies f of 2 is equal to 0. And vice versa, in fact. So you can even do this if and only if um, implication. So all we need to do now is stick 2 in. So f of 2 is going to be 5 times 2 cubed minus 4 times 2 squared plus 2a minus 2, and that's equal to 0. Um, okay, for speed, let's put it in our calculator. So 5 times 2 cubed. minus 4 times 2 squared, that's going to be 16, and then we had a little minus 2 at the end. Forget about the a, we've got 22, so 22 plus 2a is equal to 0, a is going to be minus 11. On to b. Right, we're asked to find all the factors of f of x. So we know one of the factors, and hence we can do, well, I always like to do polynomial division. There are other ways, but it's a tried and tested method, and you need to be able to do it anyway for year two content. So x minus 2 dividing 5x cubed minus 4x squared with the new e replaced at a is minus 11x minus 2. So x is into 5x cubed, give 5x squared, multiply back through by both, and subtract. Bring the next one down, multiply back through. Yeah, of course, I'm assuming we've done this before. x minus 2, and that will give you plus 1. And we're left with our remainder of zero, which is good because we know we've done it correctly at that point. So therefore, f of x is going to equal x minus 2. Right, we've just divided this by this to give this. So actually, we have to multiply it all together to give back the original function. And we're asked for all the factors. That's implying the, uh, the linear factors. So just need to factorize this bracket. Well, it's got to be 5x and x. I just do it sort of like, you know, trial and error for this sort of question. Actually, this is a very nice one because it's also got to be 1 and 1 and it's got to be plus and plus. So actually, that's the only thing it could be to give 5x squared and the 1. And you can just check it. You get 5x plus x. You're going to get the 6x out of it. So I think that actually is an answer accepted by the mark scheme, but it does say find all the factors. So I'm just going to write them down separately. Okay, hold on with this question.